In this video we're going to learn about the sine rule and in previous lessons we learned how to use trigonometric functions such as sine, cos and tan to find the lengths of sides and the size of angles and we were only able to do this with right angled triangles. In this video using the sine rule we're also going to find the size of angles and, and sides except we're going to do it with triangles that are not right angled triangles and in order to do this we have to use what is called the sine rule in a later video we'll also do one on what's called the cosine rule you'll notice when you look at our formula here we've got some capital letters a b and c and some lower case letters little a little b and little c the capital letters represent the angles so we'll write that down capitals represent angles and the lowercase letters, so lowercase letters represent sides. So how does that work? Well, if you look to the right, we have a triangle. Each angle is represented by a capital letter. So this angle here is represented by capital A. Let's call the angle at the top capital B. And the angle at the right will go with capital C. So we have named all our angles with capital letters and we've also got to label the lowercase letters the little a, the little b and the little c. The way it works is we take capital A the side that is opposite that angle becomes lowercase a. The side opposite the capital B becomes lowercase b and the side opposite capital C is lowercase c. Now what can be quite confusing about this formula is that it has two equal signs and all you need to understand is you don't actually need the whole formula you only have to pick two of the fractions from it so you could have a over sine capital A equals B over sine capital B or you could have A over sine capital A equals C over sine capital C. You could also have one B over sine B equals C over sine B. So basically you get to pick the two fractions you would prefer to use. In fact we don't have to use the letters A, B and C. We could have let's say P, Q and R and if we put our lowercase r, our lowercase q and our lowercase p we can now come up with basically the same formula but with different letters and it would be um, P over sine capital P equals Q over sine capital Q or we could have uh, little r over sine capital R equals little p over sine capital P and so on. And that concludes our video just introducing how the sign rule works.